to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Mindy and today we're going to talk about linking custom part properties to annotation notes found on our drawing. I have this toy car that I've created a drawing from and as you can see I've already linked custom properties to three different annotations. I want to go and finish the rest of my drawing so the first one I'm going to start with is my headlight. Now I know with the headlight, I haven't created a custom property yet, so that's the first thing I need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and open my part by right clicking on the view and selecting open part. Now I can go to my file properties, that's all the way up here on the top, right to the right of rebuild. Now I want to enter a property name. So I can go in here and I can create any name that I want or there's some pre-made properties from this drop-down. I'm going to use description, I'm going to keep the type being text, and I'm going to enter my value here. Once that's done, I can say OK. I can save my part, and I can close my part. Now let's link the annotation to that property. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my annotation. So on the annotations tab, I can select note. Before I place this note, I need to pick what view this note is linked to. So as you can see, when I start hovering over views, their border starts to highlight. So when I drop my note, I want to make sure it's dropped on the one that's highlighted. So once I find that, I can go ahead and place that down. And then I'm going to come over to the Note Property Manager, and under the Text Format section, I'm going to choose Link to Property. This will open up this dialog box, and I have a couple different options here. The first radio button at the top talks about how you can link that note to the current document. So you can see that document will be linked to our toy car assembly, but I want it linked to that headlight part, so I'm going to turn it to the model found here. Here there's a couple different options for that. I can link it to the current drawing view, which is what I want because I just placed that annotation note to that drawing view, so this is what I'm looking for. But I can also place it to a drawing view that I've specified in Cheap Properties. Or I can select components in the graphics area if I want to use it with a different drawing view. We're going to stick with the current drawing view. We see that that selection is correct. And now we can come down here and pick the property that we want. Everything looks good. You can say OK. We'll hit Escape to not place any more and we'll move this over. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for the side body. So I'm going to grab that annotation note, I'm going to link it to this view, and come over back to my property manager to link to a property. I want the model found in the current drawing view. Left body. I want description. Uh, this time I see that the value isn't exactly what I want. I don't have to go and open the part back up to change the properties. I can click this button over here on the side that says File Properties, and it will open up the properties for that part, and I can make any modifications that I need. We'll Repick that property, say OK, hit Escape to put things down, and now we need to rebuild. The last thing would be if you knew syntax for what you already want to put the note as, uh, we can grab that note again and place it linking it to our tail light, and we can go ahead and type out the syntax. This is one example for the syntax that you can write, but you can also find more information about it at help.solidworks.com. I'll go ahead and put the link for that in the description of the video. 
everything from my drawing looks really good. Thanks for watching my tech tip. I hope you join us next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.